Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to be covering imbalance. So imbalance, or otherwise known as inefficiency or fair value gap, uh, is basically where there is a excess of buyers or sellers within the market. And what usually happens is you would get quite a strong impulsive looking um, movement like this here. Now this one was just the other day, uh, this was the uh, high impact news for the Euro. Now what the imbalance actually is, if we have a look we have got the low of the previous candle here, okay, for this one just there, and then for this candle we've then had a push down, we've had a wick up, and then on the following candle we've then had another slight wick up to about here, so we've then got this just there. Now, what the imbalance is, is this bit in the middle, between these two lines where it's just purely selling pressure going on. Now, within this bit of, um, of the candle, this would have had some buyers within the market. Same with this part of the wick here on this candle. But just in this area here, there's an imbalance of sellers in the market. So there is a lot more sellers than there is buyers. Now, this can be quite... Um, a good indication for traders to understand where price is going to go next. Now with imbalances, what tends to happen is this imbalance will, should get filled. It doesn't have to be immediately, it doesn't have to be soon, it can take days, it could take weeks uh, or even months. Um, but as this is a one minute time frame, this was a high impact bit of news regarding the interest rate decisions for the ECB. So this um, actually did get swept up relatively quickly and we shall advance price forward and you'll be able to see how price is attracted to this area. So if we push price forward a little bit, as you can see, we've had a very strong impulsive push down and a pull back up to clear this imbalance and what this does this creates a fair market so people can still get back into the markets at the price up here so the previous example was quite an easy one to spot okay it was just one solid candle that pushed down and created some imbalance so we've got a impulsive movement here on this example that we're going to have a look at now and as we can already see price has already pushed back up and it's cleared and uh, most of this imbalance here. But what we're going to do, we're going to have a closer look and identify exactly where the imbalance is within this little bit of price action here. So what we'll do, let's zoom in. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at this bit of price action just here. And then we're going to use our rectangle tool and we're going to use the bottom of this wick just here on this candle and the top of the wick on the following candle. Now as you can see, this little bit of price within here is where the imbalance lies and as you can see there is a bit more further down so let's just stretch this all the way across just so we can see how price is attracted to this area okay so as you can see price has been pulled up to that zone now on the following candle we can do exactly the same again uh, so I'm just going to duplicate this box and we can just adjust it accordingly. So so this is just another represent, uh, visual representation of where there's imbalance within this candle just here. And again you can see there's some more imbalance just below. So we can do the same again and duplicate this rectangle and we can highlight this bit of imbalance as well. So there we go. You can see this bit of imbalance just here, this bit of imbalance just here, and this just this little bit of imbalance just here as well. So let's zoom out, let's have a look, and as you can see where price has been reacted to um, off these key areas of imbalance. So let's just adjust this rectangle just here. So price has pulled up and you can see we've had some kind of reaction around this zone or around this area as well as here. So price has pulled up, we've had a bit of a reaction, we've cleared some of the imbalance 
plant has pulled back down uh, to clear some of this imbalance has now been left behind here and then push back up to clear the remainder of this imbalance okay so with this movement of clearing this imbalance we've now had some impulsive movements pushing up creating some more imbalance along the way as we can see just here a bit of imbalance here so as we pushed up um, cleared some of this imbalance and to keep a fair market the price is pulled back to clear this imbalance push back up and clear this imbalance so as you can see as we keep going forward the imbalance that was created here by clearing this has then been pulled back uh, prices pulled back to clear this as well so this is one example of how imbalance behaves within the market so let's have another look at some more examples so here we have an example here now let's mark this up as if it's a real time chart so we have let's say we've got our supply zone here We've got our supply zone, okay, we've had a push away, and then we've created some imbalance just here. So let's mark this imbalance. So as you can see, we've then had this imbalance just here. Now what this is showing us is, as we've created our supply zone, price has pushed away, and it's given us a reason for price to come back to our supply zone before pushing back away. So our supply zone needs to be tapped into, but then we've now got this imbalance here, which has given us an extra confluence that price is going to come back to this zone at some point to mitigate the supply zone. 